hi and thank you for joining me today today's video is a quick video hi. it's um a response to a question that i got from a loved one around salt water flushes so if you're new to this channel my name is Chumi. i'm a medical doctor i'm a poet i'm a dancer i love creating videos on this channel around holistic health around um, plant-based living minimalism raw veganism and just living your best and most conscious and healthiest life and infusing all that with some dance. If you're interested in that kind of content, consider subscribing down below. So saltwater flushes, my thoughts on that as a physician, as somebody who's guided many people in detox and who myself have done detox throughout the years, um, a well-timed saltwater flush in the right individual can be undeniably supportive in the detox and healing experience of that person. That's been my professional experience of what I've seen um, with others. I also want to say that it's really important to consider if you are the right individual for this. But before I talk about that, let's just review really quickly what it is and how it works. So saltwater flush um, involves having about a teaspoon or two teaspoons of non-iodized salt, the best salt you can get, maybe Himalayan or sea salt, in very good potable filtered water and drinking a lot of that um, over a short period of time five to ten minutes sometimes and what this does is it creates you might have, hear my little one in the background it creates an osmotic effect um, which means that because of the electrolytes and the solution it helps to pull out water and with that a lot of toxins and fecal material and so what can happen for people is that they can actually tap into old residual fecal material stool um, and toxins that were waiting to be flushed out and because of diet or other reasons had not gone out so people can oftentimes feel even better than pre uh, salt water flush and I'm not talking about just before the salt water flush I'm talking about even maybe before the issue that caused them to think maybe I'll do a salt water flush so what then happens after taking this intake of salt water is that there is a huge evacuation of water fecal material and with that toxins now, like I said, you have to be the right individual. A lot of people are, but I wanna talk about things you should be aware of that might make you pause before you do a saltwater flush. First thing is if you have any issues with electrolyte imbalances, you've had history of hyponatremia, hypokalemia, your electrolytes being off balance. Hi there. So I had to switch some things around. You can see a different background now, but I wanted to finish out this video and um, share with you that yes, it's really important to make sure that you are the right fit for a salt water flush. And if you have a history of electrolyte imbalances, if you are somebody who has hypertension, I think if you're somebody who is pregnant, um, and carrying more blood volume. Uh, if you have liver disease, kidney disease, I would not recommend a saltwater flush. And this just gets me to an overall um, thing I wanna say around saltwater flushes and detox, which is that I really believe that slow and steady is the best way to go. Meaning that I see a lot of people who get on this idea of saltwater flushes or colon cleanses in general, and it's a, it's a, um, off and on situation. So what I call the detox retox train. They'll detox with colon cleansing, they'll detox with salt water enemas or flushes, excuse me, a salt water flush or an enema. Those are two different things. And then very soon they retox basically with a subpar diet. So what I'm getting at is that it's really important, I believe, and what I've experienced as a physician guiding people in detox and seeing in my own life, what's more vital is what you're doing the vast majority of the time rather than these detox things that we can do. Meaning, I would, I would recommend spending more time focusing on up-leveling your diet um, and also, even when you are detoxing, maybe doing a cleanse, doing that gently through up-leveling your diet rather than focusing on things like colon cleanses. Um, I'm not saying these are 
not to be done, I want to be clear, but I'm just saying it's really important to make sure A, it's the right fit for you as an individual. If you're not sure, please work with a holistic practitioner to figure that out. And two, focus more on your diet, focus more on what you're putting into your body, into your mind, what you're experiencing on emotional, mental, physical, spiritual level on a day-to-day -day basis, rather than relying on cleanses to um, heal. That's what I really wanna say. Um, I have a incredible, I, I use that word not lightly, um, I think it's a very good cleanse. It is a called my Home and Body Synergy Cleanse for the summer. Um, I did it specifically for the summer, or if you're in a tropic region, tropical or subtropical region. And it's all about blending a gentle detox of the body with a detox of one's home. So detoxing one's environment, also so key to up-leveling one's health. If you're interested in either a body cleanse or your home cleansing or a combination of both, which is offered in this uh, cleanse that I did, it's a seven day detox, check out the link down below in the description box. I send you so much love wherever in the world you are. Be gentle with yourself, with your body, with your spirit, and take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.